Um, so I want everybody to pay attention. When let's let's just say, start it from here. First of all, sin is a person living inside the man and have his desires and nature. To explain, I'm going to, I'm going to say this different way. I am married to my wife, right? We're together, but we're one body. So she lives in me. Her desires and nature is in me. If you come to my house, half of my house design, it's my wife. And I actually did it. You guys understand, right? Half of my house design is, 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 is my wife design. We, we did it together. So no matter how much I want my way, she's through me, pushing me to, to, to have her desires too. So sin is the person we're going to go through that. So here's what, what happened. When you come to Jesus, you believe Jesus. Sin still living in you. So now you're reading a Bible in that condition. You're believing Jesus. Of course, God give you, God restores your spirit. Now you're a trinity. You have a spirit, soul, and body. Complete. And, but the sin still living in you because of your body, because of your flesh. Everybody pay attention now. Now what happened is, so when a person with a spirit, soul, everything is restored by God because you believe Jesus Christ. He associated with the Bible. Now you came to a place where a Bible says that God is good, God is love, God is everything. God will give you everything. So here you're reading. In John... It says that anything you pray, God will give it to you. Agree? God is good. God is light. God is love. God bless everything. So the man reads all that. So now the... Listen to this one. Now the sin lives in you like a person. Push you saying, if that's the case, oh man, go ask God the desires I want. So here this man, in his nature, I call nature, he prays to God what the sin wants. Pray and pray and pray and then gives, pray. I don't know what you want, but people go and pray. Oh, I love her. Can you give me, give, I want to marry to her. I don't know if it's God's will. It's probably the desire. It's the desire of the sin. Sin have his own desires. And over the years, he makes you to be like that. That's why we marry wrong person. You marry wrong person, your kids will be wrong. Forgive me, I apologize. That's a big statement right there. You go to school, you finish wrong school, you mess up your life there. That's those decisions being made by sin. Because he greatly manipulated you. Now you follow what he des decided to do. You guys understand what I'm saying. So the sin in you, forcing you to make decisions. And all the decisions are because of he's like a person. I'll explain how he came. Now the sin says, oh, wonderful. So the God you believe, he gives everything. Then tell God to bless all things I want. And this man goes and pray to God. The desires that he wants, which is the desire of the sin. He prays, he comes to church, he gives money. A woman came to me years ago. She said, she said, I'll give you money, you and John. And she said, pray for a, I don't know, I don't, don't want to say maybe she's listening, but something about marriage. You ping me. And there's another lady, she paid $5,000 to a witch, so witch can forcefully marry her. Like, you remember that day, John, when John says they give us $59, but they give to which $5,000? Look at the design. She gave to the witch $5,000, so the witch can, and somebody can appear. I can give you a lot of stuff, brother. It's, it's crazy if I go there. So what happened is, the saint in you, forcing you, says, well, they're good. It says God is good. God is love. God gives everything. Then pray. My need. So this man goes and pray, 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 pray. Guys, guess what? Because the desire of the sin, it's not God's will, even though it looks good. 
And God answers none of them. So now sin in you says, oh, you see, none of them been answered. It says in the Bible, sin talking to your mind. It says, it says there that God is good, God is love, then how come nothing, nothing happened? Now he's forcing you to speak up. Now you, listening to your conscience, which is not your conscience, it's sin living in you, telling you that God is a liar, he takes, now sin literally goes, grab the word of God, and he judges through the word of God. He says, you making God a liar? He judges you through the word of God. There is no repentance on that one. You sin. You really now sin. Now you are, you have a problem with God himself. People came to me. And they said that why God did this to me. And they start complaining that how unfair God is. Satan used that commandment against them. God, if the Bible says God is good. Then God is good. If the Bible says God is right. Then Bible is right. Paul says, let every man be liars. Yet you, man, through desires of the sin, pushing God to give you the sins of desire. And God says, none of them I'm giving to you because it's the desire of your sin. And the man becomes the enemy with God. That's why sin uses the commandments against you. There's no more repentance on that one. Who are you going to repent? You're, you're telling God you're bad. You're telling God you're a liar. And you're telling God, I'm sorry that I call you a liar, but you're a liar. Is that going to work? Now, how many understand? 99% of Christians, this is their prayer. That's why they mess up their life. 